I have here a copy or a Xerox of the crest of the Sola family. And on top is a lamb representing peace, a helmet representing strength, the sun representing light and truth, and in Hebrew inscription below, the Lord is my shepherd. And members of the DeSola family have used this on a number of publications over the years. Uh, David DeSola Poole uh, used it in a number of his publications, and this is a prayer of David, uh, Dr. David DeSola Poole. The story of the Mendes family uh, is really the story of three Sephardic families, by and large ministerial families, the Meldala family, the DeSola family, and the Mendes family. And they were very well represented in the Sephardic synagogues throughout the Western world. Between the three families, the Meldalas, the DeSolas, and Mendeses, there were at least 16 generations of ministers, rabbis, chazans to the Sephardic communities throughout the Western world. At one time here in the United States or in the Western world, uh, there was H. Pereira Mendes at Sheriff Israel, Frederick de Sola Mendes at Sharei Tefila, Abraham de Sola in Montreal, Isaac Pereira Mendes uh, in Savannah, Abraham Pereira Mendes in Newport. Now, in this generation, there are no more Meldalas. Only one de Sola that I know, and there are only three Mendeses in my son's generation. So there are not likely to be any more ministers from these three great families. Probably the most significant uh, and emotionally valuable article in the Mendes family uh, is this festival prayer book, which was printed in Amsterdam in 1771 and has been handed down through the family and contains the signatures of every member of the family starting about 1800 uh, with Isaac Pereira Mendes, the son of the David Pereira Mendes. And then we have an inscription from Samuel Pereira Mendes. I bequeath this book to my cousin Jonathan de Sola Mendes, grandson of my father's brother David. It is given with the distinct understanding binding upon him and his successors that this book shall remain in the family so long as it is in the hands of one affiliated and loyal to the customs and practices of Jewish life. Otherwise, it shall be donated to the archives of the Jewish Theological Seminary of America, which was founded by my father, H. Pereira Mendes, who taught its first classes and became its interim president. And this was signed in 1977. And then I've signed this book saying, I bequeath this book to my son Joshua, and my son Joshua has signed the book. And the book was given to me uh, by Samuel uh, uh, Pereira Mendes. Uh, at the time, I became a trustee of the congregation uh, because I was the only member of the family that was still uh, strongly affiliated with the congregation. Now, the tie that I'm wearing today symbolizes my commitment to my co and service to my country. That's the tie of naval aviation, and I was a Navy pilot uh, flying for the Marine Corps, uh, ending as a colonel in the Marine Corps after many years of service. The tie tack here is the crest of the DeSola family, and this represents my commitment to my Jewish heritage. We would also like to ask uh, our trustee, Mr. John Mendez, to take a flag and also place it at the grave of, of Gershom Mendez Stasius.
I decided <laughs> it would be appropriate really Memorial Day and fitting to be here in uniform because we're honoring other Jews who fought for our country. And I think it's important for posterity to understand that the Jews of the colonies and the Jews of the United States have fought for their country in every war. And that there are 18 members of the congregation who fought in the Revolutionary War are buried here. And we do honor to them today, and that's why I came in uniform.